Now, losing your hair at any age can be pretty emotional and a pretty traumatic experience, especially if you're a teenager. What we're going to do for you in this video is we're actually going to show you some of the leading cause of hair loss in teens, and then we're going to show you how to combat them. So if you are worried about your hair loss, make sure to stay tuned. So guys, before we get into the video on hair loss for teens, if you are actually worried about your own hair loss, what you can do is you can click the link in the description and our hair guard specialist is going to give you a full analysis of your hair. All you have to do is simply click the link in the description and then upload a hair selfie. So what you're going to learn about today in this video is we're going to go over the top eight causes of hair loss in teens. Uh, so we're going to look at hormones, we're going to look at stress, medicine, nutrient deficiencies, three different types of alopecia, and then undiagnosed medical conditions. And then we're gonna show you how to treat hair loss. So first guys, we're gonna have a look at hormones. From adolescence to adulthood, the changes that take place in a teen's body can be astounding. Not only are they maturing physically, mentally, and emotionally, but these changes are caused by a surge of hormones which can further boost their maturation. And just quickly, before we go any further, if you see that bracket and then a number, that means that we're citing some kind of academic resource or journal or literature. We've list listed all those down for you in this description. So if you do want to further your knowledge, make sure to have a look at those. As hormones naturally surge in the teen years, this is also a time for hormone related conditions to awaken. These can include polycystic ovary syndrome, thyroid disease and lupus all of which have been known to cause hair loss or even excessive hair growth. Now guys, we're just going to have a quick look at stress. The physical and emotional changes experienced by teens can cause immeasurable stress. This can lead to shedding and balding or actions that cause it, such as anxiety produce induced hair pulling. One of the more interesting causes of stress induced hair loss is lack of oxygen to the dermal papilla. The dermal papilla is a structure at the very bottom of the hair bulb that contains bundles of blood vessels. These vessels work to deliver nutrients and oxygen to the hair follicle and the strands. When you're stressed, shallow breathing is a common phenomenon. As such, less oxygen is taken into your body and therefore less can be delivered to the hair. This means your hair is being deprived of a vital element, which is also means less waste is being removed from the scalp. Now we're going to have a quick look at medicine. From premenstrual dys dysphoric disorder to severe acne to depression, there are a number of conditions that may require teens to take a prescribed medication. While these medications can certainly help the condition they were prescribed for, they can also cause unpleasant side effects such as increased shedding. Of course, I do not recommend ceasing a necessary medication without the approval of your doctor. However, I do urge you to speak with your doctor about the side effects you're experiencing as they may be able to help. Now we're going to look at nutrient deficiencies. Unfortunately, for many teenagers, eating a healthy, well-balanced diet isn't their forte. While the majority will make it through their teen years unscathed and with no long-lasting effects, a significant enough deficiency can lead to present issues. Some common nutritional deficiencies in people from 10 to 20 years of age include iron, vitamin D, vitamin B12 and magnesium. And all of these can trigger poor health effects, including loss of hair. So now we're going to look at some different types of alopecia. The first being traction alopecia. Typically caused by overstyling of the hair, traction alopecia is a common form of hair loss in teenagers and young adults. Essentially, traction occurs when the hair is pulled back into tight hairstyles or overstyled with the use of harsh chemicals. Headgear such as helmets, headphones and masks can also cause traction alopecia. Next, we're going to look at androgenetic alopecia. Androgenetic alopecia is also known as male pattern baldness. And this is more likely to occur in men over the age of 35. And about 25% of men who suffer from male pattern baldness will begin to see signs by the age of 21. This is a condition which many factors, though genetics plays a, role, a large role in the development and early age expression. 
So if your dad, your mother's dad, uncles and grandfathers have it, then you might have it as well. In addition, females can also suffer from this condition, though in fewer numbers. And next we're going to look at alopecia areata. Alopecia areata is an autoimmune disorder that causes patchy bald spots on the scalp and other parts of the body where hair growth occurs. This form of hair loss can be present within males and females at any stage, but it's more likely to crop up during times of stress or hormonal, hormonal surges. As an autoimmune disorder, the development of AA depends on many factors, including genetics, environmental, hormonal imbalance and immunology. This is why certain individuals may be more susceptible to AA. As you can imagine, the stress and hormonal changes occurring within our early years makes this the perfect time for AA to trigger. This can mean sudden patchy balding for sufferers. And finally, we're going to look at undiagnosed medical conditions. While this isn't the most likely cause of teenage hair fall, it's one that you may want to consider if you ruled out the previously mentioned causes. In short, a variety of medical conditions can trigger shredding and balding indirectly. These include hormonal, physical and even mental issues. If left untreated, these conditions can lead to the breakdown of your hair follicles and trigger further hair fall and balding. So guys, now we've gone over some of the leading causes of hair loss in teens, we're actually going to show you how you can treat that yourself. So it can certainly be tempting to treat your shedding with one of the over-the-counter medications targeted towards hair loss sufferers, such as Rogaine and Propecia. However, we strongly urge you against their use, especially at such a young age. While many people will see positive results with these treatments, the results will wear off quickly after use ceases. To begin using them now, then, would mean a lifelong dependence. So what do we recommend instead? The first is to potentially look at treating hormonal imbalances. At a time of hormone fluctuations and growth, it's a very real possibility that hormonal imbalances are at least partially responsible for your hair loss. Fortunately, there are ways of treating such imbalances uh, that can stop hair fall and reverse any signs. The first is to improve your daily diet. One of the best things you can possibly do for your body, including your hair and scalp, is to improve your daily diet. This means adding in more nutritious foods and focusing on eating a well-balanced meals. The typical diet for Westerners can be extremely damaging, both to the body and the hair. This is because it's full of acidic foods, including red meats, dairy, alcohol, carbonated beverages and sugary grains. The best way to go about change is to start slow, and you can begin to gradually cut back on acidic foods and place, replace them with more varied alkaline selections. Also, you're going to want to avoid overstyling. And perhaps the easiest tip on the list is that we recommend avoiding overstyling. This is obviously beneficial for young people with traction alopecia, but it can really benefit anyone experiencing thinning. When speaking of overstyling, we don't just mean pulling your hair into a tight ponytail or bun, and we also mean avoiding heat such as straighteners and curlers, relaxers and perms. The use of too many chemicals on your scalp in combination with the overstyling issues can cause hair loss or worsen it. While hair loss at any age can be devastating, it can be especially so for teens and young adults. Fortunately, it is possible to stop early balding in the majority of cases and even reversal may be possible. Of course, the approach you take will depend on the case and severity. However, the four treatment tips above are a great start for anyone. So guys, that's what we've got for you today on teens and hair loss. If you, are, if, you, if you are worried about your own hair loss, don't forget to click the link in the description to get your free hair guard analysis and I'll see you in the next video.